how diet and exercise can combat obesity. What is obesity? Obesity is a very contagious disease that is sweeping the nation. And no, it can be seen that it's not a big problem for many. For many people are struggling with this. Obesity is an excess of body fat that can build up in the body over time. Obesity leads to millions of deaths every year that affects million, and affects millions more all over the world. And if it's in reference to having a body mass index or BMI 30 or more. Though there are many, many people struggle with this issue and it's your job to fix it. There are many health risks that are associated with that are associated with obesity. Obesity can lead to many health risks such as type 2 diabetes, strokes, high blood pressure, and much more. It can also lead to a poor quality of life. Many times people who are obese can't do basic things such as skydiving, getting on roller coasters, doing long walks through cities with their families on vacation. There's many issues that can happen with this. According to Dorothea, or what secondary, there's also secondary issues that can be caused by obesity as well. According to Dorothea Van Fiedis in the National Council on Aging, or NCOA, one study found that people with an excess weight had a 55% higher risk of developing depression over their life. It can affect people mentally because they don't have much self-confidence, which leads to stress eating. People won't don't want to do things, they don't want to get out, they don't want to socialize with their friends and family. They just they sit in their house and then it leads to more eating, which leads to obesity. It can it's something that very negatively impacts mental health and it's an issue that needs to be checked. Now you though there's a big issue that comes along with obesity, you might be wondering how we can combat this. And the way that we combat this is diet and exercise. In an article posted by the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, choosing healthier foods such as whole grains, fruits, and vegetables can lead to a better diet and which leads to reducing or preventing obesity in your life. Exercise is also a great way to reduce obesity. Exercises such as weightlifting, running, riding your bike every day, walking the dog, even yard work such as raking leaves or working on cars, that can be ways to help prevent obesity. Mm -hmm. uh, though it can be seen that uh, one, both are important, Some many, many people will focus all on diet and not on exercise, or all on exercise and not on diet. Food is essentially energy for our bodies. When we take in food, we're taking in energy, also known as calories, which leads to a bit, and if we don't use exercise to burn those calories off, we gain weight. That's what leads to obesity. And if you focus on the diet and not the exercise, your body's not gonna burn as many calories. So you're kind of defeating the whole purpose of diet and exercise. Also, if you exercise and don't take in enough, don't diet properly, you're going to have too much physical activity, which is gonna to lead to feeling tired, anxious, you're not gonna have, you're not gonna wanna do it anymore. There's so many things that can happen which can lead to stress, which in turn, as stated earlier, leads to stress eating. It's a big issue and all of it works together. What are the best exercises to prevent obesity? All exercise is essentially good, but there are certain exercises that are better than others. In an article posted by, about obesity prevention by the Center of Disease Control, to maintain your weight, to work your way up to 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity and 75 minutes of vigorous activity. Moderate activity could be such as a light wall, a slight jog, jumping jacks, things like that. Something very light that's not requiring a lot of energy. Vigorous intent, aerobic intense workouts could be such as weight training, a, a heavy jog for, three, for several miles, such as jogging out to the Hartwell Dam and back. There's, things like that, or you could go mountain biking up a mountain trail. Those are types of uh, vigorous activities that can help prevent obesity. Moderate, there's many positive effects that can associate with living a healthy lifestyle. 
Living a healthy lifestyle can be very beneficial, such as you uh, limit your weight, which allows you to do more. You can you feel better mentally, such as I stated earlier, mental health. If you have a better diet, you're able to do more, you're able to see more, you're able to go with your family more, you socialize more. It all leads to more of a healthy lifestyle. Plus, you get in shape, you feel better, it doesn't hurt your joints to move as much. It can, and this overall boosts the confidence and mental attitude of one person. And many people, there's an ar argument that's often made that dieting is very expensive. In an article posted by Finance Buzz, 65% of Americans don't eat healthy because of higher, what they think is higher food costs. And when you start to break down numbers, you can see how that is not true. For one person to eat at an average steakhouse, it will cost around $25. That's the cost of the steak, an appetizer, a side salad, fries if you get that. That can get very expensive. You add that up over seven days a week, it adds up. It starts taking money out of your pocket. And that's not counting if you're going to go get candy bars at a gas station or sodas, those sorts of things. But you can go to Walmart and get a 32 pack of water for $6.98. That's 21 cents per bottle. Then the average cost of boneless skinless chicken breasts is $2.35. And then around $3 for a head of broccoli. This is a healthy meal that you can get for around $10. And by eating this healthy meal, you save money. You can put towards more saving up for retirement, a new car, a better house, a new apartment, anything that you're needing. Well, eating healthy isn't just for mental attitude and health. It also helps save money in the long run. Throughout this, obesity is a very dangerous thing. It can, be, it can hurt a lot of people and can severely impact your health. As stated by the Center of Disease Control, Harvard TH Scan Chan School of Public Health, the Finance Buzz article, all these things, and uh, Dorothea Vafiatis with the NCOA, all these things, they add up and they can in greatly impact people. 